In December, he had to plan four funerals for four people he loved. Tonight, he's relieved the person accused of killing them may receive the death penalty. Chris Davis is live in St. Charles with the details of this case. Casey, prosecutors charged Richard Darren Emery with 15 different counts. He's accused of killing his girlfriend, his girlfriend's children, and their grandmother, all in just a gruesome case. Now, prosecutors say if they get a guilty verdict in this case, they will ask the jury to consider the death penalty. There's some miles. They say a picture never does it justice. There was never a time that you didn't see a smile on all their faces. But this is all Rick Mockle has left. Well, I'm still angry. It's hard to say that you can forgive. I don't know if I'll ever forgive him. His daughter Kate and his two grandchildren, Jonathan and Zoe, were shot inside their own home back in December. Investigators believe the man who pulled the trigger was Kate's boyfriend, Darren. The guy that we knew and the guy that did this are two different people. And it's like the devil jumped up and took him and let this happen. Rick believes this all may have been a dispute over money. We think about him every day. Some days are worse than others, some days are better than others. Now Darren Emery is facing a litany of charges and along with it the possibility of the death penalty. Rick says he approves of the prosecutor's decision. Thought about it long and hard, kind of go back and forth, but at this point I'm pretty happy with that. Talk about why you think this might be fitting for this crime. Just the fact of the scope of the whole thing that you killed, you know, two people, two kids, little kids that haven't done anything to you that would cause that. Prosecutors have already warned Rick the wheels of justice move slowly. Rick is ready for the long haul. When the time comes that that happens, I think we'll all be there. Because a picture never does it justice, but he hopes maybe a jury will. You see it every day, and they're just... They were wonderful people. Now, after leaving the house, Emory is accused of exchanging gunfire with St. Charles police and also attempting to carjack a woman nearby before eventually being found bloody in a quick trip bathroom. All of those incidents are also reflected in the charges that were filed this afternoon. Live in St. Charles, Chris Davis, five on your side.